big honor to meet you, a big fan of the franchise and the Nightmare films and your participation in Star Trek as well. Um, first question, same as asked to Robert, uh, how do you feel about being in Australia, meeting all these fans? <gasps> Oh my gosh, it's been it's my first time in Australia and it's absolutely been fantastic. Um, I, for my first day was in Sydney and I'm like, oh, I think I would like to retire here <laughs> and inquired about real estate. Anyway, um, it's been wonderful meeting the fans and for a long time on Facebook, you know, I've gotten many inquiries from Australia about when are you coming down, when are you going to come? So it's a great pleasure to finally to be here. Yes. Rest in the kingdom of God. Let our faith supersede our knowledge, for truly the Lord works in mysterious ways. Hello, baby! What do you remember about filming the two Nightmare films you were into? What's the scene that you most remember of that time? Which scene do I remember yeah. the most? Um, I remember the cemetery filming out at the cemetery and uh, the coffin and, and uh, you know my brother popping out of the coffin and, and I remember sprinklers going off in the middle when it was supposed to and I remember a lot um, filming there and, and of course just meeting Robert the first day, mm -hmm. the first time too. Um, and How I, was that when you saw Robert with the full makeup the first time? Oh, it was like... How do they do that? <laughs> no, wow, that's wow, you know. Um, but of course, he's so animated and in the chair and chatting and reading a newspaper. You know, it was it was very interesting. <laughs> What is your next project? What have you been up to? Uh, well, about 10 years ago, I started my own business. I was raising my children and whatnot, so I really kind of dropped out of acting for um, quite a while. Mm -hmm. But then, um, about two, three years ago, um, we'll see a lot of people who watch the Nightmare movies in the 80s um, have grown up to be writers and directors and producers and whatnot. So I started getting phone call, mm -hmm. or getting, you know, contacted to say, hey, I'm doing this SAG film. Would you be in it? You know, that kind of thing. So um, I've done a few films like A Mago, uh, The Intruders, um, it, and I, anyway, and I'm working on one called um, Soon A Light On. Mm -hmm. So I'm actually co-producing this film. Mm -hmm. So in a film in Louisiana, and it's a good old-fashioned sort of ghost story. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so I've kind of been back into it. I did a pilot with uh, Kathy Bates. And um, about a year and a half ago, now it's a successful TV show, mm -hmm. but they reshot the pilot. But mm -hmm. I did get to work with yeah, Kathy Bates. It was yeah. pretty awesome. <laughs> Second to none. Don't let them put you to sleep. He has no mercy. Which one is your favorite nightmare film of the franchise? <gasps> I know it's a hard question. Uh, well, I have, and or I like the first one, mm -hmm. and I think I love Dream Warriors number three. And I have to say, I am very fond of Nightmare 4. <laughs> fantastic, fantastic. Yeah. What are you planning to do while in Australia now? How long are you going to be here? Well, I've been here about a week. Mm -hmm. So, unfortunately, I go back to Los Angeles tomorrow. tomorrow I know, so. and I so would love to stay. And um, I've gotten to see a lot of Sydney proper. And, um, and then we were... Um, out in Melbourne um, for a few days as well, mm -hmm. so I got to see them, where it's four seasons in one day. <laughs> yeah, or they even said, no, every hour there's four seasons. Mm -hmm. Anyway, yeah. it was very charming. So I've seen a lot of the Metropolitan, mm -hmm. but I'm definitely going to come back, and I'd like to go to the Great Barrier Reef and the Queensland Islands and oh, do all that. Beautiful yeah, place. I, it, it is sensational. Okay. Thanks so much for your time. Thank really you. honored to meet you. Thank Bye. you.